walked down the street and these guys got our attention across the street. And the, on the way there, I heard preacher, preacher. So I, we went across the street and they were trying to flirt with us. <laughs> they said, oh yeah, baby. <laughs> Ooh. And you know, they wanted to know who we were, but I went up to one guy and he, I told him, I said, the Lord wants to heal your liver. And he said, he just tears, tears just started coming down his eyes. And I said, yeah, you have had This is the same guy that was trying to flirt with you. Yeah, the same yeah. guy. And, Those uh, are the best to witness I to. I know, huh? Yeah. <laughs> so um, I said, the Lord wants to heal your liver. And he, said, and he just started crying. I said, matter of fact, when you were young, like in your teens, God called you and you, um, didn't, you didn't do what he told you to do. And he just started crying anymore. I said, wow. matter of fact, he told you to be a preacher and you didn't do it. And then he turned away and he walked away from me and he started crying. He said, you just don't know what you're doing to me right now. You just don't know what you're doing to me. And I'm like, yeah, you, you know what? And I said, you know, the parable is so, I meant the, uh, the parable when you, um, when uh, some uh, came to work for the field for a penny, I said, you remember that? And some came later. And I said, well, you're one of the later people. And I said, God said, he's going to give you the same as he gave the others. And he said that, well, he just started crying. And I said, matter of fact, I said, God, I said, matter of fact, I see somebody. And it was just such a picture of a dark lady with curly hair because I have curl here, and I said, but God, and he got even more emotional, and I said, God wants you to sow into her love. He, he, he said, sow into her love. Matter of fact, you have so much word in you. He said, it's not too late to go ahead and start preaching his word, and he, this man was so emotional, started crying, and he said, the next time you see me, I promise my life is going to change. I promise I'm going to do exactly what the Lord is saying to you right now. One of the things God's been doing recently, he's been giving me these names. Actually, it started about two months ago. I mean, I just get names, and I've been asking God for specific things like that. So anyway, I got a name of a lady, and I walked into Walmart, and the Lord said, I'll bring, him, bring her to you. Went into Subway, um, sitting there waiting for them to come. Next thing I see this couple walk by, and that was her. So I walked up to her, and um, I said, are you so-and-so? And she said, yeah, that's me. And I said, uh, you've uh, recently had a miscarriage, haven't you? And she said, yeah, how'd you know that? And, she, and I said, well, actually, you've had three miscarriages, and, and that's been really painful for you. And I just wanted you to know that God the Father knows your pain. And she just started breaking down in Walmart. And then the presence of God showed up. And I just really felt like the Lord was saying that he was going to turn that around. So I laid hands on them right there in Walmart. Dad's crying. Wife's crying. I mean, they're like having this thing. And, and I said, wow, God, that was awesome. And I said, are you done? He said, no, just go wait in Subway for a little bit longer. So I'm s sitting in Subway. And another lady walks up to me. And she goes, are you Scott? And I said, Yeah. And, he go, and she goes, you probably don't remember me, but over a year ago, you prayed for me in this Walmart. And I went, so in my head, I'm scrolling through, like, because I pray for a number of, this Walmart near my house, I pray for dozens of people there. I'm like, man, I'm just, I'm just not recognizing it in my head. And she goes, well, maybe you'll remember this person. She reaches into her purse, pulls out this photo of this person, and I'm going, yeah, I remember her. I prayed for a thyroid or something like that. And she goes, yeah. That was me a year ago. She had weighed 300, over 300 pounds, had lost 216 pounds since then. And, and the cool piece about this, at least the part that I thought was really cool, at least was when I prayed for her, it was one of those I knew I should pray for. And I asked her, do you feel it? And she had zero manifestation. She didn't say she felt anything. She didn't say anything. It was happened. But I was just obedient. A year later, I find out, 216 pounds, totally healed. God's amazing. Friday morning after the first session, uh, I left to go out, and my wife and I uh, went over to West Springfield to get a haircut for myself. On the way there, the Lord said to me, you're going to give the person who takes care of you, whoever that is, uh, a very big tip. So I took some cash. I went in. The woman who approached, uh, the first thing I noticed about her was she was obviously pregnant. The second thing I noticed was that she was very sad. She was, uh, no, no expression on her face, just really downcast. And she took me back to the chair and sat me down and I asked her how she was and she said, it's okay. And then this was totally God. She just suddenly opened up and just started spilling her whole life to me spontaneously. She said, I already have a nine-year-old at home. Uh, my boyfriend and I were on birth control. I don't know how this happened, but I'm pregnant now. He's really happy, but I'm, I'm not. I really didn't want another child. She said, I didn't want to give an, I didn't, another child to be born out of wedlock. I want to get married. It's been three years with him, and we're happy, but I, I, I don't know if it's right or not. And as she was cutting my hair, and I was listening to this, and 
I told her a few things about myself, but I was letting God speak to me as to what to say to her. Uh, we got finished, went up, and I paid, and I gave her the tip, and she looked at me, and it's like, wow, are you serious? And I said, yeah, it's, that's, it, that's it, but that's not all of it. I said, God wants me to encourage you, and the first thing he wants me to tell you is, no life created is ever an accident. And... He, he has a plan for your baby. He has a plan for you. And he wants you to be so encouraged and to know that he cares about you. He loves you. He loves your baby. He loves your boyfriend. And he wants you to know that he also was the author and designer of families. And he supports anything you do to bring a family together. And he said you can be so encouraged by that because he's behind you 100%. And I just looked at her and said, he wanted you to know, he wanted to make this one of the best days you've had this week. And she, her face lit up so big. She couldn't stop smiling. She thanked me like 20 times. And I just said, God just wanted you to know these things. Some videos and uh, he was definitely on fire and said, uh, we need to go to this conference. And I said, go ahead, honey, you go. And uh, within... I don't know, 30 seconds to a minute, it had to have been the Holy Spirit said, I'll go with you because I don't remember saying it. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> so before uh, he could uh, convince me or tell me otherwise, he bought the tickets and said, we're going. <laughs> this is way out of my comfort zone um, to be praying for others, to be standing up here talking to people like this, uh, way out of my comfort zone. <laughs> So I came here with an open mind, an open heart. I've been praying. I've been, I was bombing out on all the uh, little things that we were doing, the word of knowledge, the prophecy. After this morning, I came back in tears saying, I just, I can't get a word. I can't, this isn't working. I haven't been able to pray for people or heal people. And finally, this afternoon, I came out with my husband and we found two women that I felt led to pray for. And um, one was in a wheelchair and one was sitting down um, on one of those walkers. And um, I asked them if they needed prayer. And I prayed for their back, um, one lady, the back and her knee. And she said on a scale from one to 10, her pain was a 10, eight or a 10, 10. When we were done, when I was done praying, she said it was a five. And she was like, wow, that was incredible. And I was like, yeah, was it? Yeah, really, it was incredible. <laughs> I'm like, but we're not going to stop there. We're not going to stop at five. We're going to go down to zero. We're going to go down to zero. And we did. Dave prayed with me, and she went down to a zero. Praise God. Yeah. And then I prayed, um, Dave and I prayed for um, the other woman who had um, her right knee was bothering her. And uh, same situation. Um, we prayed once for her, and she had total healing. And as the two of us were walking away, we could hear them, wow, wow, that was so cool. Wow, I can't believe that happened. And um, I said, you guys aren't joshing me, right? Because I'm like, this is crazy. And uh, they said, no, this is, this is incredible. We, you know, we've been having so much pain, and now we feel uh, better. And then Dave so graciously told these ladies that they had blessed me just as much as I had blessed them.